Let him in. Let him in. Let him in. Let him in, sir. Give me that. All right. Friends. Friends, we want to say that we are mighty happy to see such a fine crowd here in Jessup and certainly here in Wayne County. We are we are very appreciative in Georgia for what you people have done. We appreciate the fine effort that you've made here jointly to welcome this great first lady of our land. And now I'd like to introduce a few of the local people who joined the train in Savannah and who we have aboard. We have with us Jerome Harvey, your commissioner. We'd like to have him come out. We have, we have Mayor Hugh Jordan and Ms. Hugh Jordan with us. We have Ben Pierce and J.L. Sharp and Hubert Howard with us. We have Mrs. Bill Zorn with us. We have Representative James Warren with us. We have Lawton Bennett and Bill, Bill Coggins and uh, Mrs. G.H. Zorn with us. We have Edward Ralston, Colleen Ty, Ms. Helen MacDonald, Mr. Harvey York Sr., Alvin Leapart, yeah. W.B. Roden, Randall Walker, Stetson Bennett, Mary Ann Rich, and Olga Harmon. And now, we also have on this train, we have that very fine. We have that very fine distinguished congressman from your district, Congressman Russell Tootin and his wife aboard here too. Come here. Say a word. Let him say a word. Fine, fine. Congressman, why don't you say a word? Uh, uh, listen, give me just a minute. You know, there's one thing I'm really appreciative about when it comes to my people. They always respond to a situation, and I'm so happy you're here. Fine. And now I want to present another lady that's on this train. If I don't present her, I won't go home tonight, and that's my wife, Betty. She's here, too, with us. We'd like to present her. And now, I want to say this to our good friends here in southeast Georgia. We have with us a lady who has come to Georgia because she wanted to come. She's come here because she's a southerner. She was born and raised in the south. This train that you see here started out in Alexandria, Virginia two days ago. And she's traveled through the states of North Carolina and South Carolina. She's been received by enthusiastic crowds. But I honestly don't believe for a town the size of Jessup and an area like this she's ever, go ever had a crowd any more enthusiastic or certainly a finer looking crowd than we've got here in Georgia today. And I want you to know that. She comes to us as a woman who comes in the finest of Southern tradition. She comes as a woman who knows our section of the country, as one who loves us, and one who's down here to be with us. And certainly I can see from what you've done here today that you come to her as good Southern people who are out here to welcome the First Lady of the land. Now I want to present the official person who will introduce our distinguished guests. I want to present that very charming, that very beautiful, that very talented Georgian, that great wife of our great junior senator, Mrs. Herman Talmadge, who will present her. Thank you, Governor. I just wish I were capable of doing the job that our First Lady deserves. But I want you to know I'm delighted to be at home, and particularly down here in Jessup, Georgia. Herman and I have been in Washington for the better part of the year, and it's always a happy occasion when we get home. 
Left. Uh, and you know, when you can't be home, the next best thing to being home is to be made to feel at home. And Mrs. Johnson and her fine husband have always made Herman and I feel at home since we've been in Washington. They've been our friend, and it is with great pride that I join here with you today in welcoming her, and it's my great privilege to present to you the most gracious and capable First Lady and my friend, Mrs. Lyndon Johnson. I've had a wonderful time riding through your be- I've had a wonderful time riding through your beautiful state with Governor and Mrs. Sanders and with Betty Talmadge and with so many members of your delegation. And there are two nice things that have happened that I want to tell you about. First, your own people here in Jessup brought us a basket loaded with the good things that come from this part of the country. Have <laughs> and preserves and honey and all sort of things. And I'll tell you, by the time we've been working right hard for uh, all day long, we're going to be ready for them tonight. (laughs) And and this is something that warms my heart. I've learned that the Jessup Elks Auxiliary has made a donation to the Aidmore Hospital for Crippled Children in Atlanta in my honor. You, You couldn't have done anything that would have made me happier. I thank you. And now, because this is a part of the country that is mine, that I know and love and respect and feel close to, I want to say a word to you about my husband. Ten months ago, on a most tragic day, he became your president. And since then, he has tried with all the strength and intellect and vigor that he has to keep this country at peace, to keep it prosperous, and to think of compassionate and practical ways to help those Americans still in need. So you know what sort of a precedent he will make because you've lived through those last 10 months with us. I want to thank the band. I want to thank all the school children and everybody for coming out. It, it gives us a mighty happy feeling to see y'all all out here. And I, I want you to know our youngest daughter, Lucy. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say that it seems to me that a lot of us have one thing in common, and that is many of us are out of school right now. Came, but I think that we are out of school for a very definite purpose. It is a learning purpose, and that is to become involved and try to understand just exactly what are the issues and the enthusiasm of this campaign. There's one thing that impressed me greatly when I came into Jessup that I'd like to mention. Since I joined the Whistle Stop train, we've come in contact with many young people who have differed in beliefs politically than we have. And many of these young people have hollered and screamed and, and not paid attention and been generally not very courteous. And I'm afraid, and at least I firmly believe, that their people would not be particularly proud of them. But I'd like to say one thing that I am impressed because I believe that we all have the right to disagree without being disagreeable. And those young people from Jessup who have the right to disagree have certainly not been disagreeable. And for that, I thank you. And there's another thing that I'd like to mention. There's one thing about Georgia, of course, that I think impresses all young people, and that is, of course, your right to be able to vote at a much earlier age, 18, than rather than 21. 
And I know that my sister right now, I think sometimes she wishes she could live in Georgia because she's not going to quite turn 21 by the time the camp campaign is over. But that I just hope that by having this right at an earlier age, that we can become involved not on an emotional basis, but on a reasoning basis. Because it is my generation, it is the students of America now who are going to have to, in the near future, probably a little bit sooner than we'd rather like to, take up the responsibility that our elders and that our parents have held for so long and try to deal with it and make this country the kind of country that we want it to be. So all I ask you is I'm glad, I'm thrilled, and I'm impressed that you have cared enough to try to become involved and to understand just what is in this campaign. And I hope that we can show our elders that we want to become involved on a reasonable basis and a reasoning basis and not an emotional one. Thank you. Now let me say before we leave, I, I want to say again, I, don't, I think this is wonderful. You don't know how this makes the people who are on this train feel when they see tremendous crowds like this and they're hospitable like they are in Georgia. We're proud of Georgia and we're particularly proud of you people here in Jessup and Wayne County. And before we leave, I want to ask Hugh Jordan, your mayor, if he won't present the First Lady of the Land with a big bouquet of roses from each of you. Thank you very much. Of this community, I want you to have these roses and salute them. These are for you. They're from some special organization. I think they're hard to tell you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> thank you. Now, we want to thank all of you. She'd like to stay, but we've got to move down the road and make a few more stops, so we'll see you a little later, and thanks a lot. Yeah.